Hi, this is Alex Walford and I wanted to show you a very quick example of how you can scoop data from SQL Server um, to Hive. Um, so scoop is uh, designed for moving data um, from or to uh, relational databases and uh, it can write data, in, it can create the Hive table or you can just move the data to the disk if you don't need uh, to uh, to use Hive, but we're going to we're going to create the table in Hive. So um, SQL Server um, has a driver uh, which needs to be installed on all the nodes um, that are going to um, be um, running Scoop, right? So so um, I I got the driver. I'm using something called Data Grip here. So what I did, I went to my uh, properties of my SQL Server. It tells me. You know, here's the driver, and I I hovered over this, and I can see, you know, there's the JDBC driver right there, and so I, I copied that to all of the uh, cluster nodes, and I did that with uh, SCP. So, um, yeah, let, so what what I did uh, was SCP that jar file to each of the nodes, and then I copied it into the scoop lib folder, which in my case is user HDP version number slash scoop slash lib. And so I did that for all of the nodes um, because they all had this um, this folder um, with a bunch of other jar files inside. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a table in um, SQL Server with just a couple of records, just just um, so you can see. So I'm going to go to uh, Data Grip here, log into SQL Server. Um, uh, let, yeah. So uh, create a table here, create the table, insert a couple of records. And so yeah, that that ran successfully. And so now I have a scoop command, and this is going to um, copy the data across basically. So so this dash p means ask me the password. It's a bad idea to uh, you know leave passwords in your uh, history. So uh, this means prompt for password, and uh, well, that's it really. That this M M um, one, uh, that's the number of mappers. So if you scoop something and it has a primary key, um, you can parallelize it um, by splitting on the key. Um, but in this case, we didn't define a primary key on the table, so we're just going to use one mapper, and so that's what that uh, M uh, one means. So I'm going to. Uh, Log in to the cluster, so uh, SSH, uh, just any cluster node is fine. I'm going to change to the HDFS user, and now uh, I'm going to scoop. And so, what this is doing, oh, it's asking me for the password, okay. So, I enter the password. It's actually creating a little Java program. It's going to figure out what the data types are in the uh, source uh, table and, and uh, make a destination table with the equivalent data types in Hive. Um, shouldn't take too much longer. Okay, so here it's starting to move the data. There's only a couple of records, shouldn't, shouldn't take very long. And then once this is done, uh, we'll log into Hive. So you can see that it retrieved uh, two records and it's just about done. Okay, so now let's log into Hive and we uh, should be able to query this table and see our data. One second. So now we should be able to select star from test, and uh, and there's the data that we scooped. So uh, that was how to scoop data from SQL Server. I hope that's helpful. Thanks.